आवाज नहीं आ रही है मैम हमें ऑडिबल गुड मॉर्निंग हेलो एवरीवन हेलो एवरीवन इट्स ग्रेट टू हैव यू हियर एंड वी मधुरिता जी मैं तो आया हूं इस स्टेज पर पांच मिनट पहले तो आपका वेलकम मधुरिता जी का वेलकम कीजिए तालियों की गड़गड़ाहट से ये एवी किसने बनाया किसने बनाया मैं मिलूंगा आपको बाद में इतना ही थोड़ा और डाल देते थोड़ी और थोड़ी और तारीफ कर लेते तो अच्छा लगता हेलो मैडम कैसी हैं आप बहुत अच्छे हैं आप कैसे हो मैं तो टिप टॉप हूं यार बैक वे बैक वे बैक टूगेदर नो मास्क हाई हेलो अलाउड हैंड शेक्स हग्स किसेज ऑल अलाउड वे बैक A round of applause for us all. We're back, guys. It's so wonderful that we can actually be together in person. What a difficult time it's been the past two, three years, है ना मैम? Absolutely. Seen some uh, great degrees of pain and suffering. Yes. But we are out of that dark and yes. gloomy time and full of positivity Absolutely. and energy. This is exactly where we're going to start. For all, energize, करें इस room को. करें क्या? Yes. तो कुछ ही देर पहले हम यहाँ बैठे थे और किसी ने एक पॉइंट रेज किया एंड इट रियली हिट होम आई वाज लाइक हाँ यार सोचो इसके बारे में समबडी सेड लुक इट वेयर वी स्टार्टेड लुक इट द जर्नी ऑफ द इंडियन एंटरटेनमेंट स्पेयर वेयर इट स्टार्टेड एंड वेयर इट इज टुडे व्हाट अ जर्नी अ स्पेक्टैकुलर जर्नी कहाँ से शुरू किया था हमने मैम दूरदर्शन से आज देखो कितने प्लेटफॉर्म कितने चैनल्स दस जस्ट सो मच हैपनिंग पर एक टाइम पे सिर्फ दूरदर्शन हुआ करता था आई हैव लिव्ड आई एम बोर्न इन 85 सो आई हैव सीन दोस टाइम्स अम ए कौन है कोई कौन है ओहो ये मधुर आवाज कहां से आ रही है अरे गुड मॉर्निंग सर अपनी मधुर आवाज सबको सुनाइए आइए आपका नाम समीर समीर पवन का झोंका ठंडी हवा का झोंका सर संजय लीला भंसाली साहब की फिल्म में आपका रेफरेंस था हम दिल दे चुके सनम याद है आपको वो समीर वो तो बहुत दिल वाली बात पवन का झोंका सर कितना अच्छा गाते हैं आप मैं गाता नहीं हूँ गुनगुनाता हूँ अरे गुनगुनाइए सर एनर्जाइज कीजिए हम सबको क्या ट्यून गा रहे थे आप वन टू थ्री ऑल ऑफ एस क्या बात है सर जिंदगी ना मिलेगी दोबारा वाला सीन याद है आपको कितना हंसाया ऋतिक साहब ने है ना मन बहलाया आपने गुनगुना के समीर जी थैंक यू फॉर दैट एक जब भी हो जाए साथ में गाएंगे एंड एवरीबडी फॉर रियल दिस टाइम फॉर रियल दिस टाइम एवरीबडी ज्वाइन इन वन टू थ्री आह क्या दिन थे वो सिंपलर टाइम्स थैंक यू समीर जी क्या बात है सिर्फ समीर जी और मैंने गाया आपने तो गाया नहीं ये चीटिंग है गाया आप तो पैदा भी नहीं हुए थे उस टाइम पे Was the tune he was listening to before he came on stage? आपको पता है Spotify play playlist ढूंढना मैंने 90s advertisements क्या क्या है उसमें छाया गीत चित्रहार निर्मा निर्मा डिटर्जेंट की इसके ढाल में जादू कर दिया पानी में रह के भी ये गम गले मेरे को क्यों याद है ये सब मैं sometimes I shock myself why I know every all of these little Cultural tidbits. We just listen to all of this. Thedo kapde thoe aur zyada chale. Nirma detergent kiya. Ab aap samjhi ye tikiya maine kyu li? Oh ho, Yashraj Talent Management. Koi brand conflict to nahi hai meri ma. To ye baat baat pe aajati hai. Chup chup chup. Ji madam, puchiye na. Yes. Puchiye na. Kitna acha din hai. 
So Ranveer, Fikki Frames is back in Fikki full Frames form after back, two years. Baby. Our theatres have reopened, movies are releasing back to back and like you said earlier, there's so much of positivity and hope out there. Now when you look back at the two years, uh, what are your thoughts Ranveer? You know, what are your learnings that you're taking ahead, you know, professionally and personally? Um, personally ma'am, I would, um, I'll keep it short. Yes. But most certainly, um, I have seen um, a personal evolution. Wow. I've, uh, the pandemic has changed me um, and deeply affected me personally as it has um, to everybody, the whole right. world. Absolutely. Um, not a city, state, country, just the entire planet, you know, right. was affected. Um, yes. And no exception. Um, a lot of time for introspection mm -hmm. and coming out of it feels like a, the start of a new chapter and what I'm committed to making into a glorious chapter right. uh, with all the learnings. Um, I think when it comes to the Indian entertainment sphere, yeah. um, my observation is that we've been rapidly accelerated to where Western entertainment spheres are now. Right. You know, the gulf between big screen entertainment and at home entertainment um, has become very distinct. Right, absolutely. Um, and that's there to see in the past year, the films that have released. Yeah. Uh, there is now a very clear distinction between what is meant for the big screen. Right. Um, those films, now it's imperative to have big screen appeal, yes. visual spectacle, Spectacles. scale, something you can't really experience at right. home or then a community watch, you right. know, something that you, you have a better experience sitting with a, a large bunch yeah. of people yeah. and laughing and crying. That community viewing experience is very, very important for any offering. Right. Um, it's not the same when you're sitting alone and watching at home Absolutely. on the couch. Yes. Um, so we've been rapidly accelerated. I yeah. think it's a completely new landscape right. uh, with the rise of new verticals. Um, and now I feel like the, it's like I mentioned in the earlier speech as well, it's all one big giant entertainment landscape. You know, um, our Indian audiences are watching shows that have been created in other countries and the, the, the reverse is happening as Exchanges well. Exchanges the same, yeah. Um, so many of my university friends message me out of the blue, say, hey, I thought of you because I was watching this Indian show called Made in Heaven. I was like, Are, wow, yeah, yeah. in middle America, in today's day and age, you remember me because you an Indian show and you liked it. So yeah. it, I think it's a very exciting time yeah. in that sense. We now have so many avenues to Absolutely. export our culture, our talent, our skills, our stories. Um, and uh, at the same time, the onus is on us creators because now we know that the average Indian consumer has access to just about any piece of entertainment Absolutely, from yeah. anywhere yeah. in the world on the click of a button. True. So then you have to really... Push um, the boundaries, yeah. There's extra onus to very deliberately look at the content True. that you're creating. Um, it's very important to keep our audiences entertained. If we're going to draw them back to the theaters, yeah. then we need to justify the time, effort, and Absolutely. energy, and money that it takes to come to the theaters. Yeah, so absolutely. personally, I'm committed uh, to big screen cinema um, and very excited about my upcoming releases as yes. well. Um, but I feel like um, what Sir said, the 12,000 cinema halls shrinking to 8,000, yeah. um, that's concerning. Right. Um, and I hope that the people who are like me, who are committed to the cause of big screen entertainment, right. um, I hope that we are able to adapt so that we can yeah. deliver content that brings people back to the, the theaters. theaters. That's important because we know how easy it is now. You have so many entertainment Absolutely. options at home yeah. and on your phone, like Sir was saying, with data as accessible right. to our masses as it is yeah. now, yeah. more and more people are going to consume entertainment True. on the smaller screens. So the people who, you know, who are responsible for delivering big screen entertainment, the onus is very much on us yeah. creatively and technically. Yeah. 
you've always been a believer of these spectacle movies, larger and lesser cinema, and you've always said that you grew up on such cinema, right? So it's exciting for you to see that such movies are right, like really working out there. That's what's drawing the audiences, like you just said, right? You know, after the pandemic, when I went back into the cinema yeah. halls, I was like, man, I've missed this. That experience is, is, is very special. Right. Um, to sit in this dark theater with so many people yeah. and, you know, have this joint cathartic experience. I feel like cinema going is like a microchasm of life itself. Right. You know, f according to me, what is life? It's a shared experience. Absolutely. What is my joy if I don't share it with you? Right. Um, so, when you sit together in a cinema hall and you, you laugh together, you clap together, yeah. you know, you cry together, you feel that emotion together, that's a very special experience. Yeah. So like I said, it's, the onus is now on us creators when yeah. people have taken the time, taken the effort and given the money to yeah. come to the cinema hall, then you have to give them bang for their buck. Please right. justify the, the time, effort and money it took for them to come there yeah. Believing that you will entertain them for True. two, two and a half hours. Yeah. Uh, life is difficult. You know, what is our work? As entertainers, we have to do some kind of To uh, provide some kind of escape, entertainment, deliver some kind of pertinent social message as well. Mm -hmm. So the onus, yes, is very much on the creators now. Right. So which is the first film that you saw post the pandemic in the theatre? Um, I don't remember. I think uh, the most memorable watch uh, for me has been Top Gun. Okay. Um, I wasn't in the country at the time of release, yeah. but uh, I'm such a big fan of, of cinema that I made it a point to go to the cinema hall and it was many weeks after the yeah. release, so I went to an IMAX screen wow. and I took that center seat and that big screen experience, it's like a classic uh, yeah. movie, you know. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the Brahmastra experience. Yeah, yes. Round of applause yes. for my friends <laughs> Absolutely, uh, yes. who have created um, Brahmastra, the Astraverse, um, I think a fantastic big screen offering and something unlike uh, anything we've seen in Hindi cinema right. and I truly yeah. appreciate uh, the efforts of my friends in putting that out there. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, you have seen it, sir. Hall mein dekhi, sir. Hall mein dekhi. First day, first show. What a sir. Thank you, yaar. Maza hai, sir. Tali bajai. Hase. Roe. Bas aur kya chahiye, yaar. Exactly. In fact, you, you know, you said, Ranvi, that you're in a phase where you want to make movies that bring people together. And some of your upcoming films are that, like uh, Circus and Rocky Rani Ki Prem Kahani. They have a certain happiness and lightness about them. Yeah. Do you think that's the need of the hour? Would you say that's the need of the hour? Um, this is a very personal thing, ma'am. I feel like um, being an artist, um, my channels for empathy are open for the most part. Um, and therefore, the time that we've been through as a people, as a collective, um, that kind of difficulty, pain and suffering, I felt very yeah. deeply. Yeah. Um, and went through a lot myself personally. Right. Um, it was difficult to witness mm. all of that. Mm. So personally, for me as an entertainer, I want to contribute towards offerings that will make people laugh, that will make people smile. I feel like times have been tough. And therefore on Christmas, my next offering is actually circus, which is the best thing, yes. you know? When you go to watch a Rohit Shetty comedy, you know what you're going for. Absolutely. Yes. And that's the kind of cinema that um, I have consciously chosen to be a part of. Um, I think in the recent past, uh, we have seen that you have to give something to the audience that justifies their time, effort and money Absolutely. in coming there. Yeah. Um, I personally have bought so many, uh, I've taken large groups of people over the weekend to watch films, my mm -hmm. friends and family. I know yeah. how expensive it is. Yeah. Um, and I know as a cinema going audience myself, that ek to aap plan banao, hafte bhar pehle. People's lives are so fast and so busy yeah. to make the plan to go with everybody. Then you get into the car, you drive through, you know, traffic, traffic you get to the 
let's say if you're going to a multiplex, yes. you go to a mall. Up basement pe pehle parking dhundo. Parking dhundne ke baad you go up three flights of escalators. You get your ticket. You pay so much money for the snacks. Right. Uh, then you go and take your seat. Um, there's 20 minutes of commercial messaging. Um, it, and by the time the movie starts, it's taken a lot yeah. of effort and a considerable amount of money, right. um, a fraction of your income for that month or yes. to actually be there. And I take that very seriously. I take that as a responsibility. I need to do That's whatever right. I can to justify that time, effort and money of the paying audience who have come to the theatres to watch me, believing that I will deliver entertainment to them, then I will do everything I can to make sure that that is the case. Wow. Very well said. Big applause in that. Yes. So Ranveer, last year you completed a decade in Bollywood. Again, a very big applause for that, you know. And, you know, we've seen your growth as an actor. You become this actor par excellence and you have this massive fan following and so many people who love you. And still you always say that you, you feel this sense of disbelief about you know, who you are and in the, uh, the amount you've achieved in life. And you say it's surreal, when actually it is so real, your success is so real. Why do you feel that way? Ma'am, it's like the position that I find myself in, yeah. I couldn't even have dreamed it up. It's beyond my wildest imagination. When I started 12 years back, yeah. when I was in my struggle period for three and three and a half years, I would have thought that, you know, I just, I just want to act, you know, right. and um, I'll do my best and I hope that good things happen. But the kind of stuff that's happening, you know, the opportunities that I've been blessed with, uh, the acclaim, the love uh, of the people, um, uh, it's overwhelming. So it's almost every day that I wake up with an overwhelming sense of gratitude. Hmm. Um, I can hardly believe that I'm in this position. I, I have this position in the current Indian entertainment sphere where I'm collaborating with the finest filmmakers, right. where I am given the opportunity to contribute towards um, the biggest ticket offerings. Um, you know, it's like, uh, I, I, I can't, Till can't today, believe it's happened to you. Till yeah. today, I can't believe it. Um, sometimes it's like I feel like I'm yeah. like, yeah, actually yeah. happening with me. Yeah, actually, it's 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 happening with me. Yeah, I'm just as hungry as when yeah. I first started. Yes. Um, I've completed that. a decade, but my hunger, my appetite to create just is insatiable. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I've been blessed with this once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, like my character says in Gully Boy, Upar wale ne ko ye tofa diya hai. Yes. you know, I have this, this, I have, I'm aware now with a little bit of maturity that, okay, I have been blessed with a certain gift. Um, right. And what greater thing than for me to do what I love to do for a living. So right. I'm very aware that this is a very um, rare blessing for anybody to have. So I put all my energy and all my passion into making good on that blessing right. from the Almighty. Is that the reason why when we, you know, you're a certain way with your fans, the way you, you know, give so much of yourself to them, you know, whether you're hugging them, throwing kisses in the air, interacting with them, clicking selfies, you know, there's a certain vibe and energy you give out to them. Is that because you're so overwhelmed the fact that they've given you so much of love to start with? Ma'am, I just think it's a very simple philosophy. I think I read it funnily on Instagram, who is our um, partner today. I read it on Instagram. There's a lot of uh, these, uh, anybody here from Instagram, from Meta? No? Okay, no problem. But let me tell you, Instagram is a great source for uh, a lot of knowledge. You know, sometimes yeah. you don't yeah. expect it, but you come upon some very interesting points. And I read this on Instagram, and that philosophy really resonates. It's like somebody articulated my life philosophy. When you meet people, just leave them happier than when you met them. You know, it's just as simple as that. That's the best thing you can do with yourself. You know, I feel like it's my calling to entertain people and to put a smile on somebody, somebody's face is just about the best thing I can do with, uh, you know, my faculties. Um, and that's, that's really, I, 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 I get great fulfillment from 
putting a smile on on somebody's face so i try and um you know spread that positivity and i feel like it's it's right. a it's a it's cyclical infectious. effect it's infectious, yeah. because um i also believe that you only get what you give so if you give good energy positivity and good vibes it all comes multiplies and comes Absolutely. back to you um so yeah i i i i find great joy in in and and it's another thing i'm very grateful for and another thing that never gets old you know so when people look at you and they're like ah, you know they you, you you could just put a smile on somebody it's a great thing so that's that's my i feel like that's my purpose that's my calling and i'll do it till yeah. till my dying breath I remember once in an interview you told me that I want to be a complete entertainer and that you truly are and you're on screen and off screen I'm sure all of you would agree or yeah, absolutely So there is this runway that we see you know at events and everywhere you're wearing these colorful clothes vibrant high on energy 1000 watts at all times and then there is a runway that we see on screen totally molded into the characters you play like we almost don't know who you are you know of course you know the character you're playing uh a how do you do that and Secondly, I want to ask you that: Do you ever leave the Ranveer thing behind when you go on set, or is there a bit of Ranveer in every role that you play? Um, <clears throat> ma'am, I I strongly believe that when it comes to someone's personality, you can't really put anybody in a box. Really, you can't say this person is X or Y. It's not. People aren't finite. You know, human beings are just too complex. So there are various facets to my personality. When I'm in public, my projection is um, a certain way. You know. um colorful That's still vibrant you. That fun is also part of very you. authentically yes. me yes. but that is for in that situation and in that, that context moment. you know uh today when um my friend the lady the rj you know when she uh when she establishes that okay ranveer is come and now we're going to have some fun you know i i own that i yeah, i absolutely. i appreciate that I love having that reputation. Yes, I'm here and I'm here to entertain you and I'm here to let's have some fun, let's have some cheer and mirth and joy yeah. um and lightness of being. Yes. Um but at the same time there are various different facets to my personality. In my personal life I'm very different in my professional capacity I'm very different. Uh in the roles that I inhabit is perhaps where one gets an opportunity to perhaps get right. in get, see another side of me and I do pour myself uh an authentic side of myself into my characters yeah. um and I hope to get the opportunity to explore more and more of myself. Yeah. Today if you ask me um how does one define you? I don't have the answer to that. I don't know how I'd be able to define myself or and at the same time I'll say in a larger context I don't know if anybody can really be defined, defined. you know. Yeah. Um yeah. so I hope that when i play different more different and more characters um it's a constant exploration of who i am that right. playing different characters will reveal myself to me um right. and i hope that i get uh, substantial enough characters to be able to explore myself right you're talking about exploring different characters ranveer you know you always said that your stardom and this huge stardom that you enjoy is a by product and what you really focus on is the core of creating these memorable characters unforgettable roles and pushing the boundaries and with you what's fascinating is that you you're one actor one rare actor who really pushes the boundaries because you know every time we see you on screen it's like wow he can do this and he can do that you know so does that really excite you the fact that you have the power and the ability to stun us every time with the roles that you play and uh, the choices you make thank you for that ma'am um I will say it is a function of the opportunities that are coming to you. Yeah. Uh like I said I hope I continue to get roles in which I can explore various facets of my okay. repertoire. Um I think I need to be invested and excited. Every pore of mine needs to be energized and enthused by the opportunity. Right. Um I am uh currently considering my next script and i want something to drive me wild you know uh, that's when i can pour myself to All that in. degree i'm i'm so hungry right yeah. now um often times i think um that i hope i can keep exploring and i hope that there's there is enough in my life experience in my um uh, to be able to bring to my craft sometimes i think man when is this uh, and i've had this conversation with some of my fellow actors as yeah. well we're like man sometimes are you afraid that this is 
this bag of tricks is going to run out like you know do you ever feel that way i don't i don't know i guess i'll yeah. find out as i go right. um fortunately up until my very last release you know playing kapil dev playing jayesh yeah. um they're all vastly distinctive um um characters that i've got to explore and put out there and i hope to continue uh, in the same vein uh my next offering is quite disruptive for my own filmography yeah. uh it's my first like really out and out comedy right. the kind of movie that i love um are we have do we have any golmal fans in the house wow okay okay go 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 golmal you see mr rohit shetty and his brand of cinema has a cult following i am very proud to be a part of it we have an offering coming this christmas with all the comedy all stars again ma'am a very very and i'll i'll tie this point back to what we were discussing the comedy all stars are all a part of the ensemble in circus wow. so i had a moment when i was on set with mr johnny lever wow. i couldn't believe that i was in the same movie i was i was performing a comedy scene That's with awesome. johnny lever he's a yes. titan absolutely of absolutely. hindi cinema one of the greatest of all time true, i true. could hardly believe that i was on set with him i was and i have not shared this ever before that morning but i will share it with you i was and I, I, to, to to testament to my point of how overwhelming it gets right. for me i remember um, johnny sir's scene was going to be in the afternoon i started in the morning and i was walking from my van to the set hmm. and i was passing by and i saw his name on the vanity van and that's when it struck me i was like man i am acting with johnny lever today yeah. you know i was in tears that morning i couldn't believe it it was a very very personal moment for me because i remember my first live exper- experience of a live show one of my first ones was watching johnny lever stand up in bhaidas hall my father wow. was a huge fan wow. and he took me one of my first live performances ever and i'm seeing this one uh, diminutive man regaling a packed house for two two and a half hours sweating you know his trademark rumal yeah. that used to get yeah. out and wipe his sweat <laughs> one of the greatest entertainers Absolutely. of all time and i had the somebody i've grown up with i had the opportunity to act with him in rocky or rani ki prem kahani yeah. the same thing happened when i was acting with dharminder with shabana so azmi ji with jaya bachchan i can't i couldn't believe it and i'll tell you the dharmendra moment as yeah. well so the first day that dharam ji and i were going to perform a scene together um i had told all the ads make sure i am on set before dharam ji i'd like to welcome him on his first okay. day but something happened and dharam ji was on set before me um and i was like oh, what happened you like you went to set i was like okay yeah. then i rushed and i went to set and now that we were pressed for time i was quickly understanding from karan what this requirement of the yeah. scene was processing everything and it was a face to face chat with dharam ji mm. and okay so i'm just before the take i'm going through my checklist okay the ye bolna hai ye bolna hai fir ye fir ye fir ye and then they they call roll camera and i looked up to start the scene and in that moment it hit me cuz i saw his face this close i was like bro look at what's this happening with you. this is an out of body moment for me wow. this is absolutely surreal i am giving a shot with dharmendra okay. the legend of hindi cinema i i can hardly believe it and that's why every now and then and ever so often there will be a situation an experience or an instance which is just it's like straight out of a fantasy for me wow wow that's super man this is such a lovely anecdote <laughs> So it'll be next year we clock in 10 years of Ram Leela. That's the first film where we saw Deepika and I together and wow what a jury all were. And what a couple it are today on screen off screen fabulous. I want to understand creatively how do you all contribute to each other's lives, careers, roles, choices, cinema choices. You know, how do you all creatively feed off each other? Um I must say I learn a lot from her. She is a consummate professional. Absolutely. Um yeah. she has uh, exemplary habits. Um and there is a lot to learn and I, every day i learn from her um i think it's been a while since we've acted together yeah. and from that time i think um 
Baji Ramastani was when we actually did scenes together because Padmavat, our last release together, we didn't actually have any right. scenes. So the last time I really performed something in depth mm -hmm. uh, with Deepika was back in 2014, 15. Yeah, yeah. And she and I have both had a personal evolution Absolutely. since then in our individual capacity as people and as actors. So I think it will be very interesting to explore the co-actor dynamic with her. I'm very That's excited. Amazing. I hope we get a great opportunity. And I've seen the evolution in her. I can, I can step out and objectively observe um, co-actor to actor, the kind of evolutions she's had. Right. You know, I think her performance in Gehraiya was stunning. Super. You Absolutely know, stunning. and I know for a person who has had a battle with, um, mental health and anxiety has dealt with anxiety to perform a part like that is such a great challenge yeah. and it takes so much out of you i have nothing but the utmost amount of respect for that kind of uh, honesty authenticity and finesse in craft i admire her hugely as an actor and i really really hope that we get uh, uh, an opportunity to act together on screen again would you like to see that yes, i'd definitely do. like to do it absolutely huh? Today we're seeing a lot of talent. And, and a lot more I learned from her. That's in a professional capacity, ma'am. But at a personal, yeah, personal level, you know, yeah. um, how to create a work-life balance, um, how to make sustainable life choices that are aligned with authenticity. Um, she, her, you know, our touch word, it's been, uh, we met and started dating in 2012. So 2022 is 10 years of wow. me and Deepika. Uh, wow, that's superb. <laughs> and touch wood, it just, um, she, as I've always said, is yeah. the, one of the greatest blessings of my life and one of the best things that's ever, ever happened to me. I'm so grateful for her in my life. We are waiting to watch you all together again, absolutely. Yeah, there was a brief hint of it in 83. I think people enjoyed yeah. her cameo and our chemistry there. Yeah. Um, there's a small surprise around the corner. Uh, oh, can't really? reveal much about it, but uh, yeah. you will you will see us together in a, in a in a entertaining, colorful, vibrant uh, context very very Lovely. soon. More on that later. But uh, yes, let me take this platform to appeal to the creatives um, <laughs> in our uh, uh, in our films to please consider this jury. Jody, I think uh, I think it'll be quite exciting to see um, these these two talents All come together. Absolutely. Yeah, I would love to do Power a movie with talents. her. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We're seeing so much of talent in our country today, Ranveer, emerging from every day, whether you're, you know, they're writers, directors, musicians, actors. Are you excited about seeing the way content is evolving in our country? You know, through various digital platforms, so many avenues. I think it's the best time to be working in Indian entertainment. Um, I started 12 years ago uh, and I was talking to some aspiring young actors. I was like, yeah. guys, this time that we're living in is very different from when I started out. Uh, things were very insulated and your access wasn't as easy. Your avenues and opportunities weren't as voluminous. Today you have so many channels, so many OTT platforms, so many films. There is so much employ. There are so many employment opportunities out there. Whether it's writers, actors, technicians, um, it is such an exciting time because of the 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 number of things that are being created. Right. Back then, only that many films, that many channels, that many OTT wasn't even, even there yeah. at that time. Yeah. Um, at that time, we had to take, how do you find work? We used to go with uh, physical copies of our portfolios <laughs> with contacts, uh, mobile numbers found from here, they go from office yes. to office and sit outside the office, meet producers, directors, casting directors, trying your, to get your foot in the door in that way and try and get work like that. Today, you have curated Instagram profiles, which are basically your calling card. The casting director can go and check check you out just it's just access is just that simple um so when they come to me today i and they come to seek advice yeah. uh, you know um that you you managed to get your foot in the door yeah. what i was like man my story is very different because that time was very different yeah. today your path 
and your journey towards getting your opportunity and getting your foot in the door is going to be very different because the times are different. But at the same time, I would encourage you to do it. Take the plunge because it's a great time to be in Indian yes. entertainment. Wow. I want to ask you this, when we are a decade in the industry, some fabulous rules to boast of, a huge star. What is it that keeps your fire burning? In your case, fire blazing because they're generally all guns blazing. Ma'am, I would say this, just being given this opportunity to be an actor, I get to do what I love to do for a living. I am living the dream. All my life, I just wanted to be in Hindi films. Yeah. And here I am. Um, and that's one of the biggest things that happened in my life. You know, a lot of times I get asked, how, do you, how are you so happy all the time? Yeah. I'd be like, man, there's one great big thing happened in my life is that I became an actor, right. you know, and I'm filled with gratitude for that. And gratitude is my superpower, wow. you know. So I would, I, I, I'm, I'm very aware of my blessings. I'm very grateful for them. And I feel like ye mila hai mauka to maar dena chahiye chauka hai na? Chance mila hai to dance karna chahiye. I ha I'm here, I'm, I'm in Hindi films, I'm a leading man in Hindi films. It's incredible. I, I have this platform, this opportunity to, to really make a mark and, and live my dream. Um, and that just, that kind of energy, that kind of passion, it's, 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 it comes very, very naturally. Lastly, I want to ask you, sir, Ranveer, we recently learned you have another super talent, which is writing dialogues. Yeah. So you've contributed creatively to the dialogues of Rocky and Rani, right? Yeah. So I want to ask you, if you were to describe Ranveer Singh in one dialogue, through one dialogue, what would that be? Ma'am, you're putting me on the spot, yeah. Come on, I'm sure you can coin a dialogue really quick. You, you, you. I love it. Yay, madam. That's your dialogue. Ranvi, <laughs> Ranvi Singh. Dot, dot, dot. Dhamaka. <laughs> Super. Madam, Dhamaka means explosion. A big explosion. Or kya kya hai, yaar? Or tarif karo meri. <laughs> Bahut pyara. <laughs> Very lovable. <laughs> kya baat hai, sir? Mere silent shots ki na sirf aap kadar karte ho sir. <laughs> Dekho, dialogues bulwa rahe hain. Silent acting mein bhi mein aapka bhai aage hai. Aisi baat nahi hai. Lutera kabhi ki thi sir, bara mein. Main toh ehmi ehmi lut gya. Ye aap, aap ke liye dialogue hai, mere liye. <laughs> Aur kya kya hai guys? Ye aap hai mere... मेरे गानों के टाइटल्स नहीं बोलेंगे ना आप सवाल कुछ और है आज आप बताएंगे एक डायलॉग जो मेरे लिए फिट बैठता है बताइए आजा गुड वन आजा बोल दे सबको Baas ki nazar, ruk ja. <laughs> baas ki nazar second. Ah, cheete. Cheete ki chal, baas ki nazar, aur Anvir Singh sir ki acting pe kabhi sandhe nahi karte. Kabhi bhi bhaad sakti hai. Aray, wow. Kya dialogue hai? <laughs> Couldn't have put it better myself. He killed it, he killed it. <laughs> Thanks, yaar. Thanks, mere yaar. Made my day. Thank you so much.